Fans of hit Netflix show Stranger Things will know all about Millie Bobby Brown and her character Eleven. It seems as though Stranger Things could return in a different form at some point in future, with Netflix teasing that spin-offs could be in the works. Today we're looking into hints of an extension to the Stranger Things universe. What do we know about the alleged spin-off? Will there be a season 5? Stick around to find out. First up, where are we on to with the franchise? Season 3 aired way back in July 2019 so we've had to wait a fair while for the next installment, no doubt due to the global COVID pandemic. Season 3 effectively highlights the obvious changes affecting the kids of Hawkins as they go through adolescence and prepare for high school, while also trying to figure out how to grow up without growing apart. Series creators the Dever brothers succeed in this particular narrative quest by delivering a darker, scarier, and more action-packed season that surpasses its predecessors. As if the previous two weren't dark and scary enough. There's a lot to like about season 3, but it all starts with the younger characters who, after seemingly closing the portal to the Upside Down last year, are endeavoring to just be kids during the summer of 1985. Mike, Finn Wolfhard, and Eleven's Millie Bobby Brown constant makeout sessions are getting in the way of Will's, Noah Schnapp, yearning to play Dungeons and Dragons with the boys, while Dustin's, Gate and Matarazzo, return home from a month-long summer camp, doesn't produce the happy reunion he was expecting. And while it's heartbreaking to see hormones getting in the way of established friendships, the group's division leads to a few exciting team-ups. If you're not on to date, make sure to check it out now. Rotten Tomatoes said of Season 3, Vibrant and Charming. Stranger Things transforms itself into a riveting, if familiar, summer ride that basks in its neon Latin nostalgia without losing sight of the rich relationships that make this series so endearing. On Metacritic, the third season has a normalized score of 72 out of 100 based on 26 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. Next, what did Sarandos actually say about a spin-off? Well, it's all just rumor at the moment, but looking at the strong performance of Season 3 of Stranger Things in both the chart categories revealed the week. Sarandos went straightforward and coy almost simultaneously. Franchises are good, but what you want are hits, he told the Beverly Hills audience regarding the 1980s set Duffer Brothers show Stranger Stranger Things is a franchise being born, Sarando said, and hinted at spin-offs. So not much to go on in that regard, but there's usually no smoke without fire, right? It's worth noting that the CEO's comments come almost a year after Deadline reported that a spin-off might be on the horizon for star Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Eleven in the show, and at the time were unconfirmed by Netflix and Brown. Sarando's also shared viewership data for Netflix's most popular movies and TV shows, including Stranger things. One metric tracked the number of users that watched at least two minutes of a show or a movie within the first 28 days of release, while the other metric measured the total hours spent watching a show or movie within the first 28 days of release. The data revealed 67 million Netflix subscribers sampled Stranger Things Season 3 during its first month on the service, while it was watched for a whopping 582 million hours total in those first 28 days. In terms of overall viewing time, the series came in just behind Money Heist Part 4 with 619 million hours total and Bridgerton Season 1 with 625 million hours. Pretty impressive. So, what do we actually know about the alleged spinoff? At this stage, very little, as reports of a spinoff show are merely rumors. In March, several news publications reported that Brown had renewed her contract with Netflix after signing up to star in Stranger Things for its first season, which debuted in 2016. However, the rumors have have remained unconfirmed. A Twitter fan account also shared rumors of a spin-off in May, noting the spin-off would be focused on Eleven. Right now it's just a rumor, but it has been reported by several sources. There might be some truth to it. We'll need to wait to find out. What else do we know about the actor who plays Eleven? As we know, the supremely talented Millie Bobby Brown has starred in several TV series over the years, including Modern Family and Grey's Anatomy, as well as films such as Enola Holmes and Godzilla vs. Kong. The teenager has three films currently in pre-production, The Girls I've Been, The Thing About Jellyfish, and Enola Holmes 2. I imagine fans of the teen star will be rushing to see these movies as soon as they come out. And how about season 4 then? Stranger Things has a fourth season on the way next year, and it's understood that the new episodes will be taking a deeper look into Eleven's backstory. We were recently given a sneak peek inside the Creel House, the former residence of Victor Creel, an inmate at Pennhurst Mental Hospital 
who was incarcerated there for a grisly murder he committed in the 1950s. The fourth season will apparently be bigger, bolder, and more intricate than previous installments, and will have plenty of surprises in store. The next batch of episodes will not, however, represent the final season of Stranger Things, as the Duffer brothers have already stated that they need more time and more seasons in order to draw their story to a close. The season four trailer was released at Netflix's Tudum event, introducing the aforementioned Creel House, the spooky new setting in Hawkins for the upcoming series, where it seems a simple grandfather clock will contain a lot of the mystery. In one snippet, fans saw Robin, Maya Hawk, and Steve, Joe Curie, hesitantly making their way up the stairs in the Creel House after breaking in with Dustin, Max, and Lucas, and eagle-eyed fans loved it. Thank you for Steve and Robin's content that was very much necessary, one person replied to the trailer. One fan simply replied, Steve! we couldn't agree more. Let's add Robin and Steve, the crazy duo, tweeted a third. The new Stranger Things trailer looks so good. I'm so excited. Please give me some more Steve and Robin content. I desperately need my besties back together, commented a fourth. Steve and Robin became best pals in series three after meeting at the ice cream shop where they both worked. The pair had one of the most poignant scenes of the series when Robin revealed she's a lesbian to Steve, telling him she was wildly jealous of him that classmate Tammy Thompson, who's never been introduced on screen, only had eyes for him. You guys seen the trailer yet? What do you think? Okay, so how about season five? As we know, season four will air sometime next year, but what about after that? On September 25th, Netflix shared a teaser for season four and announced that it would be hitting our screens in November 2022. As for a fifth season of the show, this is also yet to be confirmed. Anyone else sensing a pattern here? But in an interview with a Hollywood reporter last August, co-creator Ross Duffer noted, season four won't be the end of Stranger Things. We know what the end is, and we know when it is. Sounds promising. The pandemic has given us time to look ahead, figure out what's best for the show. Starting to fill that out gives us a better idea of how long we need to tell that story. Members of the cast have also said that a fifth season is on its way. I'll tell you in season four and in season five, if we're able to film again, there's a lot to be revealed under the complexities of of Hopper's story, which is really rich, and I'm really excited for you to see it," said David Harbour, the actor who portrays Hopper. We can't wait. Any other news about the hit show? You might have seen that David Harbour, who we all know as Hopper, tied the knot with British pop star Lily Allen during the COVID pandemic last year. Congratulations, guys. Also, did you know that co-stars Natalie Dyer and Charlie Heaton, who play Nancy Wheeler and Jonathan Byers, are actually dating in real life and have been since 2016? Good for you guys. And one more piece of news about Millie Bobby Brown. She and some of her castmates have this year received the Pfizer vaccine, and she also encouraged her mass Instagram following of 44 million to do the same. Bravo, Millie. Like everybody, we certainly cannot wait for the next installment of the Duffer Brothers smash hit. Where do you guys see it going? As of now, we can only speculate, but there is no shortage of excitement on our end. As always, share your own comments and ideas in the comment section below the video, and remember, Remember to tune in next time. Thanks for watching, guys.